Hi there! This is the Puzzle Guy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you a puzzle that is gonna blow your mind. It's a Make a Square puzzle. It was created by David Litwin and he used it as his exchange puzzle for the IPP38, which was held in San Diego in 2018. This puzzle has three parts. As you can see, each part has exactly the same shape. Uh, difficulty level of this puzzle is 9 out of 10 and the object is to make a square using these blue etched lines. And at the first glance it seems like impossible to do since uh, on this part for example these lines are much longer than uh, lines on other sides and if you try to make some kind of a square it seems like impossible. But there is a trick how to do it and I will show it to you a little bit later. But this time I'm not going to show you uh, the whole process how I found the solution since my approach to solving this puzzle was a little bit different. I just left this puzzle on my table and uh, every day I was trying to play with it for like 10 minutes and by the end of the week I uh, had two uh, ideas how to solve this puzzle but I couldn't uh, find in internet any information about this puzzle, how to solve it. So I wrote an email to David Litwin and he uh, replied to me and said that my idea is right, but my solutions are wrong and I have to uh, keep lo looking for another solution. And the same day I found how to solve this puzzle. So if you want to know how to solve this puzzle and you want to see uh, what were my ideas to solve this puzzle, keep watching the video. And if you like Make a Square Puzzle and you want to buy it, I will put a link in the description as always. So now I will uh, show you my ideas how I thought this puzzle could be solved and the general idea of this puzzle. So the general idea was following. Uh, as soon as I took this puzzle from the box I thought that it's gonna uh, be like an optical illusion or some kind of a 3D street art. Uh, probably many of you saw it uh, when you uh, see on a pavement some kind of a strange art but when you look at it from one point it looks like a 3D object and it looks very beautiful. So I thought that the idea of this puzzle is going to be the same. So the idea, the first idea that I got how to solve this puzzle was following. I took this part, put it on a table, then I took this part, I put it something like this and the third part is supposed to be between these two parts and if you put it on right place it looks like a square but this square is not like proper square since there is a gap right here there is a small gap right there and that idea was wrong so the second idea was following it's probably almost the same but in this case I could put two parts on a table and the third part I could keep like this to create the side of a square so it was like a smaller square but uh, in both uh, my solutions I didn't use this cut out that you can see on each of three parts and I thought that uh, David uh, made this cutout on purpose, not just to make this puzzle look a little bit uh, more interesting. But I couldn't find the, the right solution at first, since when I tried to use this cutout, the parts kept falling apart and I didn't see any chance to make a square. So it was something like this, but each time when you try to put them, they're falling apart. And when I uh, wrote an email to David and he said that I have right idea but my solutions were wrong, I started thinking how to use these cutouts and I found the right solution. And this solution is very clever, very interesting, 
but it, it is really difficult to find it. So the solution is going to be following. You have to grab this part, which has four lines on it. Then you have to take the part where there are three lines on it and put them like this so that this side of a cutout will be on top of this side of a cutout of another part. Then you have to take the third part and put it between the, those two. So as you can see, like this, you can put these parts together. And it's pretty difficult to find the spot where they're gonna stay in this shape since they always keep falling apart. But when you find the right spot, they're gonna stay in this shape and that's gonna be the solution. But uh, from this uh, point, it looks like, it doesn't look like a square. It looks like uh, random lines. Uh, but if you lower yourself down, you will see that the picture on these uh, acrylic parts is becoming like a square. And you can see an actual square where there is no gaps between the lines, where you can see like the whole square and you don't have to hold these parts in your hands um, it uh, stays together um, just by holding itself so that was the very cool idea uh, and solution of this puzzle i would really like to know how david came up with this idea so maybe if uh, he will be watching this video that would be very nice if he could uh, write uh, in a comment how he came up with the idea. So if you like make a square puzzle and you want to buy it, as I told you, link in the description. If you like my video, hit like, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video.